My name is Dr. Julia Songok. I'm a pediatrician, as mentioned earlier, and the sixth dean of Moore University uh, School of Medicine, Eldoret, Kenya. I have been faculty for the last 14 years, um, chair of department for two and a half years, associate dean for two and a half years, acting dean for, two, for six months, and now substantive dean competitively recruited for the past seven months and three years to go. Um, thank you. Um, as mentioned, I'm the first woman dean. And having said that, again, I reflected while preparing for this and realized that I was privileged to be um, in the pioneer cohorts of actually specifically the third cohort in medical school in the early 90s meaning among the, the early cohorts to have had this international medical student exchange experience. And again, the very first cohort of residents to ever come to Indiana in the 2000s, mid 2000s, for rotations, five months. There was generosity those days. They were surprised. <laughs> they were, my students were surprised that we got five months in, five months of rotation here in Indiana. And, um, Again, um, I almost forgot to step back and also mention that looking at the first, I was actually the first um, best student in Nandi district, now Nandi County, um, to be top at the end of high school. And I decided to mention that because it had never crossed my mind that I was a first in that direction up until I was given the prize that showed that it has always, there had always been boys who were first up until I was first when I finished high school. And so that's another first. <laughs> so while traveling these past several days and reading The Alchemist, I don't know why it took me so long to read that book and I waited until my 19-year-old son read it before I read it, I realized that it looks like the omen of firsts is here to stay with me. So I, I have to heed to that, I have to lean into it. And so um, it emboldens uh, my resolve to push boundaries and facilitate new medical programs, new partnerships, meet new people, and also uh, allow myself to grow in that space. From the lens of my community, my home community, School of Medicine alumni, my colleagues and friends, both in Kenya and in the collaborating institutions, I surely can say, and I quote my Angelo, I come as one, I stand as 10,000. In my journey, in training, and now as a young leader, I still feel young, by the way. <laughs> as a young leader, I have had the privilege of learning uh, from the best. The founders and visionaries who envisioned and started a medical school and proceeded to build a global partnership that has thrived and that I am part of and I am proud of. I am forever grateful that I stood and still stand on the shoulders of great giants, many of them in this special event today. A little comedy. I had to say comedy so that you notice now that I'm shifting gears. <laughs> So um, a caller is on the phone, put through by my office secretary, and says, hello, sir. Even after I have received the call by saying, this is Dean Songok, how can I help you? I can almost hear them say, but I, you sound like a woman. <laughs> but what I hear them instead is, sorry, it looks like I got the wrong number. <laughs> and they, they actually uh, place the receiver. Uh, and so we have to reach out to them again to say, it's okay, you actually talk to the dean and you can still talk to her. <laughs> um, the official letters in the office, some fr coming from institutions, you know, and other offices, they still read, dear sir. Some texts still read, habari buana dean. So that's a very respectful way of addressing the dean. So buana dean is again, how are you, sir? In some board meetings with my um, the faculty and chairs of departments, I still hear 
Good morning, Chairman. And I say, good morning, sir. Having said that, um, it's however, we, we try to use that to bring on board a sense of humor, and at the same time, an opportunity to shed light into discussions on gender equity, among uh, other important topics. So we don't shy away from it. Again, we lean into that and allow the world to notice that girls can also make it. As I stand here, I am blessed that 60% of my faculty are my teachers. It makes it easier to understand them. And at the same time, they know me too well. And can never I can never lie when I'm going through a moment of tough decisions. So they can read through me and be like, Dean, it's not going well. Just tell us the truth. <laughs> so um, it's like being amongst my parents, which is both warm and, again, difficult to lie to them. Uh, we continue to create an open door policy for students to consult and get support as they look at the foot of the ladder and focus on basic needs, which includes their education. Our role is to hold their dream by reminding them of the taller ladder of professional development and service to humanity. That is something that some of the visionaries in this room reminded me when I didn't even know I had any leadership skills or potential. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and children. I am standing here with a lot of gratitude Gratitude to this opportunity, for this opportunity, sorry, to stand before you and share my story for the first time in this forum. This is my first time here. Also gratitude to the founders again. I mentioned that because while I was focusing in the 90s on the things around school fee, food, education, they actually saw the tall ladder and nudged me in that direction and gave me support. We are also grateful as a school to this North American consortium led by University, Indiana University for giving our school and our college the esteemed name across Kenya, Africa, and globally. We commit to continue growing together as we educate, treat, innovate, publish, fundraise, reciprocate, expand, and as we continue to be the Ampath global family that we are. Thank you so much for your time, and God bless you.